Hi, my name is Sarah Fox. I'm going to be discussing the Journal of Madam Knight by Sarah Kimball Knight for Miss Quidere's English 231 class. Sarah was born in Boston on April 19, 1666 to Thomas and Elizabeth Kimball. Sarah received an excellent education and was well trained in business. After her father's death, she took over his affairs and was very successful. In 1689, Sarah married Richard Knight, who was a sea captain. He, not much is known about the time that they were married, except that they had a daughter named Elizabeth the same year that they were married. Unfortunately, Richard died on a business trip to London, so that left Sarah to take over his affairs. Once again, Sarah proved to be an excellent businesswoman and took over his affairs excellently. Sarah is famous for her journal account of her trip to New Haven, Connecticut from Boston, Massachusetts. That trip began on October the 3rd, 1704, and ended on March the 3rd, 1705. After her trip, Sarah started and ran a writing school, and she continued this until 1714. It's rumored that she actually taught Benjamin Franklin. Sarah also ran an inn for travelers during this time. After her death in 1727, Sarah passed on her estates and all of her affairs to her daughter Elizabeth. Sarah is famous for her journal journal account, and it's really famous for a lot of reasons. Um, one of the things about Sarah is that she stood outside of that regular Puritan woman role that we come to expect. Um, Sarah was not the humble stay-at-home wife serving God and her husband and taking care of her kids and cooking and cleaning the house. Sarah was a businesswoman. And she took over her father's affairs and then her husband's affairs after both of their deaths. After the death of her cousin, she went to New Haven to settle the affairs for his widow. Not only did she know how to do this, but she also was ready to undertake this massive journey from Boston to New Haven, which at that time was very dangerous, especially for a woman alone. Sarah did not take anyone with her. Rather, she traveled alone on horseback and actually hired postmen and other travelers to travel along with her and to be her guide. So Sarah was very independent and ready to do not only the business side, but also the traveling itself, and she was very prepared for this. Um, there were a lot of dangers along the way, but she didn't allow that to set her back. She continued on her trek and went to achieve her goal. Um, Sarah was also not the very stoic figure that you might expect of a Puritan woman. She was funny and humorous. A lot of times she ran across people that she didn't like, and she was not afraid to say that. In her writing, she used lots of colorful idioms and analogies and referred to people in very humorous ways. So her writings are very interesting to read for a lot of different reasons, and one of them is that she does use a lot of wit and humor when describing the situations that she ran into. Um, one of the times is when she's trying to find someone to be her guide. She notes that they are tied by the lips to a pewter engine, meaning that they're too focused on drinking to pay attention to her or to, you know, for her to hire them. So that was very interesting. Um, Sarah also mentions God very little in her work. She doesn't reference praying a lot or even in her, lots of her poetry that she has inside the journal. She doesn't mention God, which is very interesting for a Puritan woman not to have in all throughout her account. So that's very interesting and different about Sarah. One of the things that we have to remember is that Sarah was very racist and classist. She mentions that um, there was a slave that she saw who ate at the table with their masters, and she saw a Native American person that she belittled and was very rude to. She sees lots of different people throughout her journeys, not only as being beneath her because of her class and status, but also for racial reasons. Sarah was definitely not perfect. She was an excellent businesswoman and very brave and assertive. However, we can't forget the fact that perhaps due to her time, but also due to her personal feelings, she expressed in very racist and classist way sometimes. Um, something that's very important to remember about her story is that she was a woman who overcame so many things that were expected of her at that time, all the stereotypes that society had placed on her, and she was not afraid to go above and beyond that to achieve what she needed to do in her life. Yes, she definitely had some faults, but it's very important to understand that history isn't just made of the people that we're thought of. 
there are so many people who defied what they were expected of in life and really went above and beyond to achieve everything that they could. And Sarah Kimball was definitely one of those people who undertook this massive journey and was very successful as a businesswoman and as a person at that time period. So her journey is very important to understand and to realize. Thank you.